Record. All right, welcome to the uh, Obsidian uh, Zoom meeting. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to uh, be able to answer a lot of the questions that you have, uh, give you updates on what we are working on. One of the key Bearish updates that TTC we- Bearish TTC signal. Uh, how do I, I don't think I can, uh, let me see. I know, here we go. In order for that to stop, I'm gonna to have to disconnect. And let's do, uh, Kyle, if I connect to the uh, Ninja Trader brokerage, Will that work or do a playback connection? Simulated data feed. No? That would be playback connection. Playback connection. Bearish yeah, as long as you got the data download, it will be playback. Okay. Select. Oh, I don't have the data. All right, but in any case, um, the key thing is the dashboard um, right here. So um, today what I wanted to do was kind of go over like the basics again, um, to reemphasize risk management, to emphasize um, the general hours to um, have it on and off, um, share some of the parameters on the Orenco, um, so we have already several, and I'd like to thank uh, Miami Max for uh, giving us uh, his parameters that have uh, proven to be uh, quite successful, where he's getting like 70% uh, uh, winning uh, throughout this time. So that is fantastic. That is awesome. Uh, a lot of that stuff is already uh, on the Discord when you look at the videos and setups uh, channel. Uh, we'll clean it up uh, eventually and um, get it a little more organized so that way it's easier to search. But if you wanted to search something, what you can do is go to the search engine on Discord um, and type up like a specific word that's related to that. So like Orenco or parameters or setups and um, look for any mention of it within that particular channel. And you should be able to uh, find a lot of the answers there. Uh, if you cannot find the answers right away, um, come to the live trading chat. Uh, we've been having a lot of people joining us uh, during the live trade. Uh, people have been stepping in and out depending on when they trade. Some people in the morning, some people in the afternoon. And uh, just ask away. And uh, we have enough people who know the answers uh, to um, the, your likely question. And so... Uh, that would be, you know, super duper awesome to help each other out. So uh, all of you who are in uh, the beta testing, you actually are qualifying for the Founders Club. And uh, it's looking like we have uh, a lot of people signed up, actually beyond what we had anticipated. <laughs> we don't want to limit the, the total number of uh, people who are part of the Founders Club. So basically, uh, anybody who had joined, um, hey, Romy, uh, you have a hot mic. Oh. Um, Sorry. Uh, here we go. George is coming in. <clears throat> so um, even though you may be number uh, 55 or 60 and whatnot, um, that's OK. Uh, we will consider you as part of the Founders Club. Uh, you have an opportunity to basically lock in uh, your monthly subscription, okay? So that way, um, you know, it'll be uh, super, super low. And based on that, we're also asking for your help. We're asking uh, for a, a positive reviews uh, and, and testimonials so we can post it up on the website. Um, so visitors can take a look at that and, and see that uh, it has been working for you. Um, helping uh, new people coming in. So like in live trading chat, if somebody's asking a question, 
you know the answer to it, but nobody uh, has answered it or none of us um, the, of the moderators or um, uh, saw it or didn't respond right away to it, please feel free to respond and give an answer and help out um, uh, you know, people who are jumping on on board and are, are brand new to the platform. So um, you know, we're asking for your help. And then down the road, um, as uh, you guys are, you know, consistently there and um, showing really positive results, um, we want to eventually invite some of you to um, uh, be more proactive in the different channels and, um, you know, contribute that way and, and share, like, when are you going in? When are you stepping out? When are you turning on? When are you turning it off? Uh, because at least in the short term, uh, hopefully uh, middle of June or something like that, um, I would love to have uh, two live trading room where uh, rooms where one is trading NQ and the other one is trading ES. Because obviously those two things, um, if we are focused on it, um, we can help each other that much better in terms of entries and things like that. Um, so uh, with that, uh, <clears throat> let me go over uh, in terms of some of the basic uh, buttons to keep in mind when setting it up, okay? So this is also for the benefit of those who are gonna watch the video uh, when they first come in. So when you have set up something like this, all right? First off, we are going into the indicators and you're gonna go into Obsidian. Okay, it'll be way at the top, um, ahead of all the other indicators, all right? So at the very least, just um, at, at the basic level for now, just download every single one of these things, hit apply and click okay and you're out. Um, I don't have Overwatch on mine. Um, and of a few other things I have not placed uh, in here in order to save a memory, uh, cause man, it's a memory hog um, with all the videos going on and uh, other indicators uh, like book map and things like that and tick strike, uh, it takes a lot of uh, uh, memory. So I'm fixing to uh, get my computer uh, upgraded this weekend. Um, so just load uh, what you must. The absolute bare minimum obviously is the uh, ADD, ADDTS um, and then the uh, Orenco. Okay, uh, is it, uh, where is it, Kyle? Kyle, is he here? Yeah, I'm here. Um, if, if you had uh, to download between the, Orenco, the order flow delta versus the Orenco threshold, um, and you only had to, uh, you had to download I'm one of them, the which one is down. it? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't catch that. I'm confirmed there. So, there. for example, if you have, um, you know, memory issues, what just happened? The, okay. the Aranko threshold comes with the Aranko bars pack. That's the free indicator. Oh, uh, okay, the okay. Order okay. flow delta is the delta above the bars. Uh -huh. uh, it's it's heavy to load initially, but after that, it, it shouldn't be that impactful. Okay. If you're having trouble with uh, with memory, the heaviest item would probably be on the ABDTS. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, my kids. If you remove the, the auto support and resistance on that, there's a setting for it. So if you click on the ADDTS that you have configured already, uh -huh. And your configured chart, then just go down to disable that. Okay, uh, I, I don't want to get too deep into it. So uh, download these things, okay, and see how your uh, uh, Ninja Trader performs. If the memory is getting overloaded, um, then reach out to Kyle and ask for like, okay, what is the bare bones um, setup, okay, and then uh, we can work from there. But at the very least, you want to be able to have uh, another spam caller. 
Um, you want to have this top left corner available. You have it under Orenco. Um, I am using the 4.12.28 uh, parameter. Uh, there are three other parameters under setups, okay? So that includes uh, Kyle's, that includes uh, Max's. Um, I'm using 4.12.28 because it works for me. And also when I'm uh, trading uh, throughout the day, I, I manage it. So I don't just set it and forget it. And uh, uh, please remind me to address that uh, aspect of setting and forgetting, okay? Um, <clears throat> so once you have this, right, and you see something along these things right here, okay, um, you want to be able to do the following. Um, click the ATM so that it follows whatever ATM strategy that you have. Quantity, okay? If you walk away from um, your computer and you want to set it and forget it, Click the quantity safety, okay? And um, just that protects you so that only uh, two orders go in uh, at any given time. If you are um, managing it and trading alongside of it, you can, uh, you have to turn it off, all right? Uh, you wanna have the trend filter, confirm filter. Uh, if, you're setting and forgetting you are basically going to do all of these. The instrument uh, in Q623, uh, click the account ID. So that's the one that's active. You're going to click auto and you're going to click armed. Okay. Don't worry about semi for now. If you have questions, uh, address it on, uh, on Discord. Uh, when we are trading live from uh, 9.30 to 4 o'clock, okay, um, we are looking at, here we go. Uh, this is what I look at, okay? And what I am looking at is basically the 10 minute, and there's a buy signal, 30 minutes. And yeah, it's a long standing buy signal. Uh, and this is a long bullish um candle formation and a bullish signal. So as long as you have that happening, okay, uh, and let's pretend we, we were, um, you know, like 10.30 in the morning, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to uh, turn off the shorts and just let the auto trader uh, go into long positions only, okay? And the main reason to do that is to avoid uh, potential chop because you don't want to enter, uh, have the auto trader uh, put you into a short uh, only to have the market uh, turn around and go long quickly. Okay. Now you may eke out a small profit, uh, but more than likely you're going to get chopped if your stop loss is as wide as mine, which is 40 uh, ticks. So, bottom line is you want to trade the trend. Trade the trend. Okay. So keep that in mind. If the market is bearish, okay, this is what you're going to do. And uh, let this run and let it arm. So in this situation, you know, uh, what I do is I'm looking at um, my stocks, I'm looking at my options, I'm researching, I'm looking at other charts. And then all of a sudden, you know, uh, it gives me a, a bearish, you know, PTC signal. Okay, cool. Uh, bearish signal, great. Bearish confirmed. Okay, and then uh, the auto trader enters that position. When it does that, uh, I am looking at price action. I am looking at the Heikinashi level. I'm looking at uh, where it is in terms of the linear regression, uh, in terms of the support and resistance that are all... Uh, shown here. And <clears throat> if I am in the top or the bottom uh, of the linear regression, I'm going to be watching it really careful. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be looking at either the overwatch, if that's what you have, or uh, if you have tick strike, um, I'm watching a tick strike. I'm also watching this delta right here. Okay. So if it is a short, 
and it's going down, I want this delta to remain negative, okay? But all of a sudden, when it goes from like, let's say minus uh, 200, and then it goes minus 100, and then it goes to single digits, and then it goes green, 10, 20, 100, 200, 300, and you see the price uh, start moving, okay? the safest thing to do, the safest thing to do is just to close it manually. Don't wait for the auto trader to close it for you. Don't uh, wait for the stop loss to close it for you. As a matter of fact, the moment you are 20 ticks in, um, my recommendation to play it safe, okay? So you're not playing technicals or support and resistance. You're playing it safe is to take that. Um, so for example, uh, let's say we order, were order filled. like this. Okay, so here's the order that came in and let's say um, it went down to maybe around over here and I'm already 20 ticks in, okay? What I'm going to do is to play it safe is I'm gonna click it right there so that not only uh, does it cover um, at, um, it basically covers the commission. So. I am in profit, but I make just enough profit to cover my commissions. And I'll click it here, especially if um, the price action is just not very, I'm, I'm recording, um, <clears throat> price action is not uh, strong enough uh, or um, it's about to turn around, okay? So I wanna be able to close it right there and just click it. Okay, if I do that, it won't let me right now, but that's what you want to be able to do. Order, order, order. Okay, Fair. so um, that's uh, one of the ways to uh, let the order trader run, but you're also managing it. Okay, um, during live trading, you will hear me making comments in regards to linear regression, um, you're gonna to get to hear tick strike, uh, you're gonna see support resistance, uh, you're gonna hear commentary regarding the bookmarks, okay? So based upon that, you'll see me either uh, stay in the trade even though I'm going negative, okay? And usually it'll turn around and go right back up again because it's bull flagging. Uh, and sometimes when you're wrong, uh, then I have my stop loss it hits my stop loss and I'm like, oh, well, next, move on, okay? Because you're not going to be 100%. Uh, you just want to be able to uh, hit your stop loss, take the loss, move on to the next trade and uh, try to capture that huge move. Uh, so this morning, all right, I was happy to capture uh, 80 ticks, 120 ticks, uh, 90 ticks, 45 ticks, 50 ticks, and Every time it turned around, I just would just get out, okay? Uh, I would move up the stop loss and it would hit the stop loss. Or um, if I hear, you know, a confirmed bearish signal, I would just manually close. And I'm happy with that because I am way deep in profit, okay? Uh, or if you are swinging like uh, Max was doing uh, with his parameters, uh, you would have caught 500 ticks. And once you hit that 500 ticks and you hit your profit target, you're completely out, uh, you're done for the day, okay? Those are the movements that we want to catch uh, when trading futures, okay? okay? So do I, I have it set is um, I have two charts. I have the five-minute Hakanashi, and that's for me to uh, read uh, the technicals and look at the candles and uh, see the price action. Um, during trading, you'll also see volume uh, popping up over here. So I'm also looking at the volume profile, all right? Um, if you're not sure how to do that, no worries, okay? Uh, the more and more you watch live trading, uh, you'll pick it up along the way. Uh, I think it's better than just watching YouTube because uh, it's real time. And you, see, you get to see my losses and my winners, okay? Yesterday, uh, I think there was only about uh, four people in the afternoon, but um, I ran into a problem where um, my trade copier, Replicanto, did not close on my stop loss. And uh, everybody got to hear and see 
you know, uh, me blowing up uh, 10 evaluations. So it is what it is. Um, that's real life. Uh, I'm not going to be 100%, uh, but I'm here to make money. And my profit target in my PA account um, is a hundred. It's $1,500 a day. That's what I want to make, $1,500 a day. And if I hit that uh, profit target, I am super duper fantastic. And uh, today, uh, I am super duper happy because where is my uh, where is my PA? Uh, oh yeah, actually, even my uh, fifty thousand worked out really well. So here's my uh, fifty thousand dollar PA. I made twenty three hundred bucks and. Uh, Here's the other PA. My two hundred fifty thousand PA. I made thirty five hundred and eighty five dollars uh, gross. Okay, I don't know what the commissions are. It's pretty high, but uh, when I hit that, I was happy. You know, awesome. Those are the days that I'm looking for. Okay, and as long as you have, you know, more of those days and negative days, uh, you're making money. So don't expect perfection. Uh, number two. So. Number one, don't expect perfection. Uh, number two, don't move your stop loss, okay? Uh, unless you, um, well, don't even, I move the stop losses sometimes, uh, but I do it for technical reasons. So make sure that you have a really good reason for moving your stop loss. Otherwise, keep it there, uh, let it hit the stop loss, move on. Um, Number three, once you hit your profit target, you're done, get out, you're done for the day, redeem the day. Uh, number four, if you hit your uh, uh, stop loss for that day, so for example, um, your stop loss is, let's say, $500 uh, in the negative. If you hit $500 loss for that day, uh, whether it be in your regular uh, futures account or PA account or even evaluation, okay, uh, stop turn everything off, um, walk away, or just watch and just learn and keep watching, you know, the price movement and things like that. Okay. Uh, actually, while that thing is going, let's see if we can have the order on. filled. And it's filled. All right. So let's see if I can show some management uh, if this thing moves really fast. Okay. So, um, Keep that in mind. Those are the basics that I wanted to uh, share with you. Um, if you want to purchase Tick Strike uh, and have that available uh, on your own computer system uh, because you're not able to or you don't want to uh, be listening in on to the live trading, uh, but you actually want to control like which uh, tickers you have, you want to control the sensitivity and what kind of sounds that it makes. Uh, let me know, and I have a referral code, so you can save, uh, what is it, like 81% uh, on purchasing TickStrike, okay? Um, new development that we are working on, which will be super duper exciting, is this. Uh, we are set to uh, have an affiliate program, okay? So we got all the so software and the plugins and, and everything set. As a matter of fact, you can start signing up. Uh, as of today, okay? So those of you who are in trial, and let's say uh, at the end of seven days, you realize, you know, this ain't for me. Um, I'm not going to benefit from this. Um, for whatever reason, you're dissatisfied, and we did a lousy job of, of helping you out. Understood. Fully understand it. Um, you can, you know, cancel out. You can still be an affiliate. OK, and anybody who comes through your affiliate um, link, uh, you will get 5% recurring income on that. OK, now, right now, um, when we give a 50% discount, um, you know, that's still like 300 bucks uh, a month. Uh, you, you know, you'll walk away. Uh, what's 5%? Um, like 15 bucks a month per person. Great. Awesome. Uh, not a whole lot, but uh, once the, all the discounts are gone and we're, you know, 100% full bore, 
there are people who are willing to pay 600 bucks. As a matter of fact, we have a, a ready market of maybe like 50,000 people in Ninja Trader um, where they are using auto traders from other companies and they're paying $1,000, uh, $1,200, $1,300 a month for their auto trader. And um, looking at some of the stuff that's out there, I believe we have a superior product, but obviously um, I'm very biased and um, I obviously think that Kyle is a genius. So um, that's, you know, that's all subjective, but there are people out there who are doing that. And when they see their price um, and they see our results, um, they're moving to uh, what we're doing uh, or uh, the tens of thousands of people who already have PAs through Apex um, and they have 10 to 20 accounts. Uh, if they see what this can do for them, um, 600 bucks a month is nothing. That's what they'll make per morning, per account. Okay, I saw one guy, you know, he clears $5,000 per account, you know. So oh, we have one more coming in. There we go. Um, so for the people who are successfully trading, uh, 600 bucks a month is nothing to them. OK, so uh, that is um, something that's going to, you know, go um, go full force very, very soon. And, you know, you'll get five percent of that. Now, if you are a subscriber, OK, and at the end of seven days, you say, you know what, uh, this really works out for me. Uh, love the fact that this is A, B and C for me. Uh, great. Wonderful. Uh, you will get 10%. So all official subscribers will get 10% monthly recurring income uh, on those systems. So 10% basically is 60 bucks per person. Okay. So uh, that's big moolah. So with that, uh, Kyle, if you can, uh, can you uh, give the link where uh, people can go uh, put it on the meeting chat? Uh, where people can go and uh, sign up to become an affiliate. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the link in. Uh, uh, it's not active as of now. You can sign up and register and get set up, but we yes. would ask that you don't share your affiliate link until we're ready to open up to the broader market. Yep. But for now, you can still sign up and get everything set up. I can send a link right now. Give me one second. All righty. Yeah, you can, uh, uh, especially as you um, have, you know, green days, um, go to your uh, respective uh, uh, other discords that you're part of, other Facebook groups, um, um, whatever other groups that you're in. Um, do not mention Obsidian. Do not spam, please. Um, we do not want uh, any stain upon our name. Uh, all of you have come without even any advertising. Um, a lot of you have come because uh, different members have already just posted up uh, their um, accounts and uh, they have come through uh, Facebook group. Uh, I think several have come from TikTok. Anybody here come from TikTok? Um, uh, we've had people come from Twitter. Um, and that's just by... Uh, Posting wins and people DMing and asking, let them ask you, hey, what are you doing? That's fantastic. You know, what's the secret? Hey, this is what I do. And so gather their names. Uh, we're not um, online as of yet. And uh, once we have the proper discount codes uh, all set and, and put into place, and uh, hopefully by this weekend, uh, we have, <coughs> Kyle, a... Uh, like a quick setup video available on the website. Um, we will make the, the discount codes available to all the affiliates and you're the only ones that can pass it out to people. So other people who sign up, actually, uh, they'll pay full price right from the get-go. But those who sign up through you, they'll get 50% off, okay? And you'll collect, um, you know, monthly referral income every single month um, from them for as long as you're alive. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know what happens if you die, but uh, let's not get there. 
uh, not important. So that is what is happening at the present time. Uh, fantastic. So far, we are yeah, 40 bucks, 20 bucks in profit. No biggie. <clears throat> um, so let me open it up to uh, questions. Uh, can we type the questions on the chat uh, if you have them? And then uh, I'll answer them um, like in general order. So the more general the question, the better, and then go uh, deeper into it. So as you're typing, uh, let me say the following in regards to uh, when to have it armed, when to have it disarmed, okay? Um, when should you not have it on, okay? Or I think the better statement is, when do I not have it on uh, automatically trading? Um, at the most basic level is the moment I recognize that there's a lot of chop and a lack of direction. So when I kind of sense that, I'm like, okay. So I will go right in here and I click this arm, okay? And I would look at, um, let me see if we can find the, the previous chart. Oh, here we go. So for example, um, right here, let's say on a given day, uh, you saw something like this where um, there is a lack of direction. Overwatch is barely moving. Uh, tick strike is not ticking. Uh, there's like the sound of silence and you see something like this, right? And sure enough, uh, this is 12. Yeah, it's like 12 to 2. Okay. So during lunch hour, uh, you know, the big institution lunch hour, that typically is a time when you, you kind of want to turn it off. Now, if you're swinging like Max is doing, uh, you can keep it on because uh, his uh, parameters would allow it Garish to PTC and keep you in that uh, trade for a while anyway. So, uh, but if you're doing the 41228 and you're doing a 40 tick stop loss, um, something like this would not be good, okay? Uh, if you're doing 20 ticks, oh my gosh, you'll be like in and out and in and out and um, you'll be like, like totally out, right? So um, the moment I sense any, in, you know, uh, a lack of direction and it's just chopping, okay? Uh, I would just have it off. I'll trade more technical and support resistance. And even then when I do trade it, instead of doing two contracts, you know, I may even go down to like one contract. And if I'm not comfortable with that, you know what? Maybe I'll go into MNQ and do micros instead of minis, okay? And then go two to four at a time and, um, and you know, trade it that way, okay? So the beauty of support and resistance is that if I got in too early, you know, I can buy two micros here. At the next level, I can buy another two micros, another two micros. Um, I have my ultimate stop loss. Um, let's say it's a dollar value. Let's say it's like $400. So with micros, you know, it takes a lot for me to hit that $400 stop loss. So, you know, I'm giving myself a big wide berth, okay? And I can just buy into it as it comes down and just average down. And then when it shoots up and goes to the uh, next uh, resistance level, bouncing off of support, you know, I'll, you know, make money that way. Okay. Um, but if it's chopping, generally, if it's chopping, you want to turn it off. All right. Um, second thing, second time to not have it on is. Uh, right, bef uh, right before news time, okay? Um, we don't know which way it's going to go. And oftentimes, uh, the first move is the wrong move. Uh, they do a head fake. And after the head fake, everybody jumps in, right? Uh, that's when the, mon uh, the market makers decide to go in the original direction that they wanted to go. And it just stops everybody out. Okay, leaves them at the wake in in their wake, so um, you don't want to have it on during that time. Okay, 
oh, look, I'm up 120 bucks. So at this ju uh, juncture, uh, several things I can do is this. I can move, I can just let it um, move the stop loss automatically once it hits 45 ticks, or I can manually move it to here, okay? So that's a little bit of risk off, okay? I've reduced my um, stop loss uh, potential by like 60% if I do that, okay? Um, and also gives me some room for it to kind of retrace before it goes back up. Had I moved this, see, had I moved this right here in order for me to go into profit and also make enough to cover commissions right there, guess what? I would have been stopped out. So that is the drawback of having a short, narrow stop loss, especially with NASDAQ. Yes, signal. not so bad, all right? So you can do it that way. All right, uh, going back to uh, when to have it disarmed. So you have uh, during choppy times, uh, when there's a lack of direction, uh, right before the news. Speaking of news, number three. Um, so FOMC is going to um, have their rate decision on a Wednesday, two o'clock. I wish they did it like 8.30 in the morning, but I guess uh, government workers don't work that early. Um, Wednesday at two o'clock, okay? Guess what? It is likelier that Monday and Tuesday is going to be uh, a fairly choppy day. So it'll move somewhere along these ways like that, but it'll be choppy. Okay? So you may want to trade with lower contracts, okay, uh, or even go into micros, all right? You may not even have the, so lower micros, okay, turn on the auto trader. OK, um, but if you're going to remain at the two contract level and you want to be able to trade, uh, you have it off during that time. OK, maybe that's the day for you to study. Maybe that's the day for you to review. Um, uh, see, hit my stop loss because uh, had I stayed here, I would still be in the trade. But you know what? I didn't lose any money. So that's a positive. OK. Um, what was I saying? Right. So you have uh, those types of big news taking place. Um, how long before um, after the news should you enter? I would play it by ear, but typically five to 10 minutes into it, or a more general uh, rule of thumb would be once you have a sense of direction, once you can choose and you go, you know what? Uh, I think this is going to go long and you're fairly confident in that, do this and then arm it, okay? You are controlling it, okay? Order filled. Oh, there you go, it filled again. So, um, but if you went short, you know, there would be no fill, obviously, okay? So that's something to keep in mind, all right. Uh, yeah, I am sharing, let's go back. Uh, questions. Venkat, I feel the system looks uh, complex to understand and follow the traits. Uh, yes and no. So when you um, rewatch it in the beginning, right? And if you want to keep it super duper simple, it's basically uh, this, like that. Okay. This is the setup that you want to have. Keep it an, under, uh, an auto trader. You don't have to make it too complex, okay? Um, you even have audible um, alerts where it says bullish, bearish. Um, it gives you the P uh, PTC uh, bearish or bullish, which means the pattern uh, trend change. So it's kind of like giving you an early warning. Uh, bearish signal, that's an unconfirmed signal and saying, hey, you know what? Uh, these candles over here is pointing bearish. So if you didn't have the auto trader and you were trading off of just the Heiken Ashi or you were trading off of candles, 
you should have recognized that is bullish or bearish. But it is kind of um, handholding that process by uh, audibly telling you that it's turning bearish, right? So Venkat, if anything, it's actually making it uh, easier to trade. The buttons look complex, but once you get the hang of it, and once you have the basics down, uh, you'll pick it up little by little, all right? So start with the basics 101, and then you can uh, work with the nuances and whatnot, all righty? Uh, let's see, Lodi, uh, do, do you see, uh, okay, you, so you see it right now? Because I am sharing it. If uh, you cannot see it on your screen for some reason, uh, this is being recorded and it'll be posted up on their uh, founders uh, videos and setups, okay? Um, oh, so Max was, yeah, there you go. Uh, it is simple. Um, and if you join us on live trading and, you know, over a period of several weeks, um, you'll, you'll get the hang of it at that point. All right. And then after that, um, you may be able to anticipate what our, our next move is going to be. What so, order filled? Uh, and it reversed. Did it hit the stop loss? I didn't even see it. Okay. Uh, you see it now. Okay. Basically looking for one to two trades, uh, one to three or one to four risk reward. Yeah. So um, that one you want to uh, work with your uh, support and resistance if you want to be able to find those entries. Okay. So for example, if you, so here's your dynamic range right here. Okay. Um, and if you were to bounce off, oh, here's a good bounce off. Okay, so this one uh, went above uh, this resistance, came down and bounced off of here. And the auto trader uh, would have put you into this trade, uh, as a matter of fact. So at that point, you would have a 40 uh, stop loss and maybe do like 120 uh, tick or 160 tick uh, profit taking. Uh, but if you do the trail, okay, every 45 ticks, uh, the trailing stop is going to move up, all right? So the stop loss continually moves up with the price so that you will end up in profit, all righty? Uh, do you see what just happened there? That's something to keep in mind. Confirmation filter is on. Uh, something happened, yes. It's the bar after the bar closes. If it's still activated and you close manually without you using flatten or disarming first, it will re-enter. That is, okay. Kyle, you wanna, um, you wanna uh, reiterate that or um, expand on it? Because um, I wasn't watching it while talking. Sorry about that, it just happened. My kids were quiet the whole time until now. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to move her. Uh, what, what were you saying just before I had to step away? Yeah, you had said that uh, uh, keep in mind with the confirmation filter when it's on, uh, if you manually close it before the signal bar uh, closes, it is still active. Yeah, it's uh, since the entry on a confirmed signal, when a signal with the, with the bar that the signal is on, once that closes, that's where your entry point will be on the open of the next bar from where that closes. Now, well, you if should you hit the flatten you, button, right? That's what yeah, you're saying. If you hit the flatten button, it'll disarm itself. So you, you should get in the habit of closing out like that. Oh, because so instead of doing it close yeah, here, you hit close on a chart trader, the flag will reset and it will just re enter another position. Gotcha. It's just something to keep in mind. Good. So that's a. Um, Another, say, I didn't even know that. So that's good to know. So that's another way to make sure that uh, uh, you do not get into a, an entry that you did not want to get into or were not prepared to. All right. What ATM strategies you use for NQ1 trail and NQ2 trail? Uh, here we go. One or two is the same. I use a 40 uh, tick stop loss. And then the trail is 45. 
Okay, so that's just that's just the first step. It'll just move up 45 ticks, and then uh, once it reaches 60 ticks plus, um, that's when it continue mo uh, moving up, and it'll move up at least 10 times. Okay, so that is uh, my setup. You don't need to do that. You can do this. Just do that, and it'll keep moving it up as the um, as the price keeps uh, going up, or as the tick profit keeps going up. It'll just uh, it, you'll hear the cha ching sound a little too annoying, obviously, but it'll go cha ching cha ching cha ching cha ching cha ching, you know, ching 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 and stuff like that, and you know, start saying uh, you know very racist things to me uh, while trading. Uh, you have a 50K valuation. I saw that you have some before the system blow. Uh, what micros are you using on the trades? Uh, I use two. So on the 50K for the evaluations, uh, I would use two, all right? Now, what I have is, do I have the Replicanto? Here we go. Yeah, so the way I have it set up, is where is it? Is that uh, no? Okay. Here, let me choose the right one. I click and click the right ones right there, and show you my replicanto. And the way uh, I'm set up right now is. Um, so my 250 KPA, that's my lead, because uh, I want to make sure there's no um, slippage on that one. Oh, Max uses five to 10 micros, okay? Um, my preference is uh, just to keep it uh, at one. Now, uh, number one, I'm keeping it safe. Number two, uh, when I'm trading live, I want people uh, to see me, you know, trading safe, okay? Because if I trade it like this, uh, I just need to focus on hitting, uh, averaging $150 profit per day. And in, in 20 trading days, two weeks, to four weeks, yeah. In 20 trading days, I'll hit my uh, uh, profit target and, uh, and um, qualify, okay? Um, of course, so a day like today, you know, I made two thousand dollars. So, you know, that just cut down the the number of days that I'll, I'll have. Uh, there was one trending day after FMOS, FOMC where uh, I qualified. I think, um, yeah, the the two fifty k accounts I qualified in one day. So I had to just trade, you know, um, one micro trade per day for the next six days before they gave me a PA account. But in any case. Uh, you want to keep it uh, safe, all right? Just keep it safe. Uh, oh, uh, kamikaze with the katana. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, um, you don't want to be doing that. So uh, this is the way I have it set up. Um, I have exact quantity. And then this one, what it does is it trades the... So when I get into uh, NQ contract here, uh, in the 50K, it'll go into MNQ. So if I trade two minis here, it'll trade two micros there. Uh, the Apex copier doesn't do that, but there's a way of, of, of changing the ratios on that. Okay, so it's a little more uh, flexible, but uh, that's how I'm using the Replicanto. And as of yesterday, I'm not very happy with it right now. So I may revert back to the copier, okay? So uh, what about the one Q trail at, at one contract? What ATM? Yeah, same uh, ATM strategy, George. Uh, 40 stop loss and 45 tick a trail, okay? 40 stop loss, 45 trail. Okay. Um, and again, you can go into the setups. And you'll see Max's setup, you'll see uh, Kyle's setup um, and uh, recommendations. So if anybody else 
has uh, ATM um, strategies that has been working for you, uh, please go to Discord under uh, setups and put it in there, okay? Now, just because you put it in there, do not fear that, oh, what if it messes up somebody? Uh, you know, it's, hey, we're all adults here. So if you use somebody else's ATM, it, you're the one in control. You're the one pulling the, the lever. So, you know, you can only blame yourself. So um, when you're using somebody's and you want to test it out, SIM, SIM 101, just test it out. Okay, on that note, um, Henry, is, okay, Henry's not available. He's sleeping right now. Uh, so one of the things that you can do actually is in one chart, you can do SIM 101, have this type of setup, right? And then you can go to, um, let's go to, uh, let's do like a 10 minute Haikanashi, okay? And it, it, you can create a second SIM. So it'll be SIM 102. So instead of SIM 101, it'll be SIM 102. You have it on the Haikanashi, and you can do this. You can just go boom, 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 boom. Okay, make sure that you set up uh, quantity safety on the ones that you're just gonna let it run. That's how you're gonna set up. Take a picture if you want to, take a screenshot. That's how you're gonna set up, okay? And then you, go, you, uh, you can go to SIM 103, all right? And under SIM 103, uh, let's say you're going to do Haikanashi, uh, the five minute that I uh, use for technicals, right? And you can do the same thing. You can um, click those, arm them like that, and let it run. And what it'll do, okay, I think, Kyle, uh executions button center one instrument per account can be traded with the algo at a time yeah one instrument per account correct um so if you're going to do nq it has to be on nq on all the different accounts and the different setups all right so <clears throat> um what was it now i lost my train of thought what was I going to say? Yeah, so uh, if you have SIM 101 like that, you can go down now to like SIM 105 right there and, you know, trade manually. Now you're hearing it, you know, and it entered a trade. And so you can use that as a, uh, I, I think Don does that. Uh, he uses that as a cue to enter. So he would follow the, uh, the uh, order trader and he would manually enter in a different account. You can do that, okay? Other questions? All right, now uh, feel free to uh, unmute whenever you have a question and uh, feel free to ask um, on anything. NQES, uh, risk management. Good risk management is 5%. Oh, on that note, um, think about this, okay? And um, when you're looking at a 50K or 250K, uh, think, about, think about your account this way, okay? Instead of having $50,000, uh, you really have $5,500, okay? What you do have is, is a 10 time leverage, okay? So you only have $5,500, but you can leverage it 10 times. Okay, so as you're trading, if you lose that $5,500, guess what happens to your evaluation or even your PA? It disappears, it's gone. Okay, so um, you don't have $50,000. You really have $5,000. That's what you have. So how do you do risk management on that? So let's work with, uh, um, you know, $5,000, okay? Um, on a given day, your stop limit should be $500. You can actually make uh, your uh, profit target like um, 250 
you know, make it higher if you want to. Um, but that's going to be your stop loss. If you hit your profit target of 250, you're done for the day, walk away uh, or study. If you hit your $500 uh, dollar stop loss, uh, you have hit your max, uh, stop trading because uh, the tendency for us is to overtrade. We started with two micros and you hit, you know, 500 and you're like, oh man, th this sucks. I need to catch up. So guess what happens? How many of you have done it? Okay. You can raise your hand right here. Yeah. Lodi. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? I've done it. Why do you think I blew up a hundred accounts? Okay. Is that now I will go into four micros and then eight micros. And I said, oh, forget this. Beep. 1.6 minis. And next thing I know, it's uh, I blew it up. Now, in retrospect, I look back and I go, you know what? Um, I didn't blow up because I was a terrible trader. Okay. I blew it up because I did not recognize that I was trading in that chop zone. That's why when you enter something, it goes the other way and it hits the support at the bottom. That's when you enter your short and it turns around, makes a U-turn. And you look, oh, crap. And then you go long. And the moment you go long, it starts going back down again. And you go, oh, crap. You reverse it, right? And when you reverse it, it goes even further down. So believe you me, um, I've done that. Uh, 1K before my threshold uh, kicks me out. Uh, that's before, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So risk management is key because if you can, uh, if you're such a terrible trader and you lose $500 a day for the next nine trading days, Okay, and then you get kicked out. All right, maybe you need to um, kind of t tweak your uh, trading strategy at that point. And maybe you need to study a little more about support and resistance and how to uh, set up Fibonacci retracement. How many of you know how to set up Fibonacci retracement on TradingView? It's very, very simple, guys. There's an indicator that's automatic. All you have to do is just click it. Click it on. And it'll give you, I do it on a 30 minute chart. So it'll give you the Fibonacci support and resistance uh, right away. So study that, memorize it, know it in advance and um, go right in, okay? So, um, yeah, so that's risk management. Any other questions? If we do not have it, uh, I am going to, Call it a day. We have already been uh, 54 minutes. Any questions? I do have some, I do have some checklists I wanted to cover and stuff. Okay. If that. Go right ahead. Do uh, you want to share my screen? Can you enable that? Uh, da, 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 da. Share. Uh, all participants share. Okay. All right. It's turned on. Do I stop sharing? Oh, there you go. All right. Can everybody see it? Hi, this is Kyle. I just wanted to cover a few checklists of uh, things that people have been asking me. Like the biggest one is like, why haven't I entered a trade on this or things of that nature? I'll cover a few things. Now, when people see this, they, they ask me, I got bullish signals, but it never entered. Why is that? Because if you have confirmation filter on, it's not going to take unconfirmed signals. And if you have confirmation filter off, it would take these signals. It would reverse and go along there. Just a heads up. And then another one that I've been getting is uh, my flatten button is flashing and I can't re rearm the auto trader. 
that happens when you trigger the quantity safety. If you have this on and you enter manually more than what is in your quantity box, it will flatten itself off and disarm. Yep. And another thing is when people adjust the trend filter, make sure you're also adjusting it in the ADDTS itself. So you, you'll see these, you'll see ADDTS and ADDTS trend filter. If you're loading up the suite, the name, I just have the labels removed so it isn't populating your screen. Just make sure you come in here on the ADDTS and change the trend filter here, the trend filter strength. Your trend filter subchart is just a visual aid. It helps you out. To, so when you're adjusting it, you can find the best parameters that are producing the best results and signals for the current market conditions. And just a quick rundown on the signals for people that haven't used it. The purple diamonds at the bottom of the bar, those are your PTC longs. The green arrows are your long signals. Black diamonds are your short signals. And the, I mean your PTC short signals. And then the red arrows are your short signals. With the trend filter on, it's only going to take long signals if it's green. But on Hike and Ashy, I would recommend you don't use the trend filter for Hike and Ashy unless you're already in a longer, we're in a longer trend. If if price movement's pretty tight, I would keep it off because you're not going to get very good entries. You'll miss the PTC signals. And a thing that, to note about exit on opposite signal, only enable this after you're already in a trade. So you're no longer flat, you're plus one or plus, minus one. You're in the trade. When you hit this, it's going to disable auto, so it's not going to take another signal, and it'll exit on the next opposite signal. And this is also this also abides by these filters. So typically, when I use that exit on opposite signal, I'll take both these off, so you can get the best exit. So as soon as a signal appears, it'll take you out of the trade. And just the thing with confirmation filter. When the signal first appears, if you have this, if you don't have this on, you're going to enter on this bar. If you don't have this filter on, if you have it on and it's a confirmed signal, as soon as this bar closes, it'll open a trade on the first tick of the next bar. So if you're using Hike and Ashy, it's good to have a bar timer on here so you can see exactly when the trade will be executed. And that, that'll give you time to decide if you want to take it or not, because it, there's some lag between when an unconfirmed signal comes in and a confirmed signal does. So you can decide, I don't want to take that signal, just disarm or deselect auto or semi. And with semi, this is just going to take one trade, and then you have to manage it from there. Like, for example, if you're using an ATM, and you want your ATM to play out, make sure you're using semi, because if you keep it on auto, let's say where your ATM is still active and you get a sick opposite signal, it will reverse before the OCO on your ATM is hit. And let's see what else to cover. I think that's be armed, kind of, right? Not disarmed? Uh, for what was that? You should be armed. You have the disarmed button on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you should be armed. Yeah, if you're just coming in with and you want your ATM to play out, use semi. If you are OK with the reversing on an opposite signal, you can enter your ATM trades with that, with auto on, and it'll reverse. Uh, let's see. I think that covers most of the basics. And if you're wondering, like, why didn't it execute? If one of these parameters is probably off, like either your quantity safety was triggered, you don't have auto and arm selected, you don't have the signal selected, or the trend filter is not allowing it to take the trade. For example, if you see something like this and you have trend filter on, you're wondering why didn't it take that short? 
because the trend filter is green below that. So it's going to ignore that. It would have taken a long hair and it would have held it all the way through. And right here, it tripped it up. It would have shorted there, but that's why. But the trend filter is geared for the Ninzarenko. I mean, uh, Orenko. Oh, the Orenko. It doesn't work well with the Hike and Ashi. And when you come into the market in the morning, it's up to you which bar types you want to use. I would look at the current market condition and see what's producing the best signals for the past couple hours, be that Hike and Ashi. You can see on this chart here with the Hike and Ashi for today's performance, you can see that the five minute performed the best on a playback from what was that six o'clock this morning it made six thousand eight hundred twenty seven dollars on one nq contract but you can see if we short your, your signals are dependent on the bar and time frame so if you see if we shorten our time frame to the one minute you're going to get you're going to get a lot of false signals and that that's what you want to avoid the choppiness you can see how close signals are to one another. I mean, you would still get a decent run and strong trend, but if price action slows down and it starts to consolidate, that would probably be a point that you would want to switch to the Orango bars. But on strong moves like this, even at one minute, it'll give you good signals like that. If you want to see how it played today, I have a playback. You can see how it took entries and exits today. So when you come in, just select your signals you want, put your confirmation filter on auto, but keep in mind this is for Heike and Ashi. And I'll, I'll speed through this. See, it took an entry here at 6.05. And now with the confirmation filter, when you see this, Right before it takes it, you see that it comes in unconfirmed. And then once the sig once that bar closes and it confirms, it'll take its entry. I mean, between signals, you can get some arbitration. So it's always okay to take profit if you want. I believe that would have been just a few tick profit on that reversal there. But when it does catch a nice trend, as in its name, the trend sniper, it really catches them. We're moving almost up 1,100 ticks, 1,200, 1,245. And then it reverses right here. We're already up 6,700. I believe there's a few tick loss on that one up 27. But anyways, I think out of all the trades, there's only one $129 loser out of all the winners. That's just something to keep in mind. I think that pretty much basically covers most of that. Um, I'll get I'll try to get the tutorials out by Monday and then I, I can cover other things like setting new data series for the Overwatch and other things of that nature. I'll hand it back over to CJ now. All right. Uh, can you post that video um, on Discord? Yeah, I'll throw it up. OK, cool. I got to take the audio out because it was recording you speaking at the time, too. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll throw it up then. Yeah, just put music at the background. And there's your work. Wonderful. Any questions regarding that? Wow, so today would have been even higher. Hey, so I could have done much better if I uh, stuck to the Haikanashi and just let it run. The five minute you said, right? So as you can see, uh, so Venkat, um, if you want to keep it simple, that's one of the ways to uh, keep it simple. And as you can see, um, uh, it is working. Days like today. Five minutes. CJ, I'm sorry. I huh? don't... 
Okay. So day, days like the day when it is super trending, uh, it really, really works. And it uh, lets you stay on. So yeah. because yeah. I was sniping, uh, you know, my profit was half of that. But, you know, not every day is a super trend. So um, any any green that is above your uh, profit target, it's a win. Okay. So definitely um, want to say that it works. Thank you everyone for joining us. We will, uh, I'm going to stop uh, recording and. Er